Good day everyone, I am Cheryl Simpao. In this video discussion, we will talk about structured representation. And without further ado, let's get started. Structured representation. Structured representation is present us with a mechanism to provide guidance to our inference algorithms in the reasoning process. However, in order to do so, structured representation must walk a fine line between the abstract and the domain specific. The structured representation is knowledge using logical formalism like predicate has several, several advantages. They can be combined with powerful inference mechanism like resolution, <clears throat> which makes reasoning with fact easy, but using logical formalism complex structured of the word object and the relationship <clears throat> events sequence or events etc cannot be described easily <clears throat> representation and mapping representation it is means is the way knowledge is encoded it it defines a system performance in doing something mapping is it means it the process that maps back to representation and vice versa there are two different kinds of entities we are dealing with first is the facts it means Truth is some relevant word, things we want to represent. <coughs> Second is representation of facts in some chosen formalism, things we will actually be able to manipulate. <coughs> this is the example of mappings, map, representation and mappings. So, ang initial facts mo going siya sa internal representation, it is called fact representation so internal representation mo mo ato na po siya sa initial fact ang tawag niya is representation to the fact <clears throat> so mo reasoning program na po siya so ang internal representation is mo down na po siya sa english representation matawag niya is english generation so, ang English representation mo up na po siya sa internal rep representation, it means English understanding. This is the mapping between fact and representation. So, <clears throat> a good system for the representation of structured knowledge is a particular, particular domain should process the following four properties. First is the representational adequacy. It means that the ability to represent all kinds of knowledge, all kinds of knowledge that are needed in the domain. Second is inferential adequacy. It means it also means that the ability to manipulate the res represented structured and infer new structured. Third is the inferential efficiency. efficiency. It also means that the ability to incorporate additional information into the knowledge structure that will aid the infer inference mechanism. Lastly is the acquisitional efficiency. It also means that the abil ability to acquire new information easily, either by the direct insert insertion or by program control. The two techniques that are, have been developed in AI system to accomplish their object fall under two categories. First is declarative methods. It is represented as a static collection of facts which are manipulated by general procedure. So it means that facts need to be stored only one and they cannot be used in on any numbers of ways. Facts can be easily added to declarative system without changing the general procedures. Second is the procedural methods. It also means it is represented as procedures. Default reasoning and probabilistic reasoning are example for procedural methods. So another example of procedural method is the heuristic, me heuristic knowledge of how to do things efficiently can be easily represented. So, in practice, most knowledge representation employ a combination of both. Most of the knowledge representation structure had been de developed to handle program that handled natural language in both. 
One of the reasons that knowledge structures are so important is that they provide a way to represent information about commonly occurring patterns of things. So, semantic needs. Semantic needs is a knowledge base that represents semantic relation between concept and a network. This is often used as a form of knowledge representation. It il it il it is a direct directed or undirected graph consisting of vertices which represent concept and edges which is represent semantic correlation between concept mapping or connecting semantic semantic field a semantic field is na represent sa relation between concept and a network mo represent put sa directed or undirected graph na nagconcise sa vertices more, ang semantic needs po is more represent po siya sa concept and edges. More represent po siya sa semantic relation between concept, mapping, or connecting semantic field. So, another terms of semantic needs is an alternative to predicate logic as a form of knowledge representation. The structure of the semantic needs is shown graphically in terms of nodes and the arcs connecting them. Nodes are Nodes are something referred to as object. The links are used to express relationship. So semantic network is a declarative graphic representation that can be used to represent knowledge or support automatic system for reasoning about knowledge. So this is the represent the following data in semantic needs. So this is the example. So the following are the statement which we need to represent in form in the form of nodes and arcs so first is the jerry is a cat jerry is a cat jerry is a mammal jerry is on prayer jerry is a brown color this is the all mammals are animals so this is the argue that this is form of representation is closer to the way human structured knowledge. So ang semantic needs na po siyay advantage and disadvantage. Ang advantage sa semantic needs is have the ability to represent default value for categories. They, trans they transparently communicate some meaning. They are straightforward and easy to comprehend. And lastly, the advantage of semantic needs is they are simple to convert the prologue. Next is the disadvantage of semantic needs. First is this is no standard definition for links name. Semantic needs are not intelligent, dependent on the creator. Links are not alike in function or form. Confusion in link that assert relation and structural links. Lastly, of this advantage of semantic needs is link on object represent only binary relations. So, frames. Frames is a record-like structure which consists a collection of attributes and its values to describe an entity in the world. Frames are the EL data structure which divided knowledge into substructure by presenting stereotypes situation. Another means of frames is is a type of schema used in many EI applications, including vision and natural language processing that provide a convenience structure of representing. Frames is a similar to a record structure and corresponding to the field and values are slot and slot fillers. Basically, it is a group of slot and fillers that defines as a stereotypical object. A single frame is not much useful. Frame System usually have collection of frames connected to each other. Frames value of an attribute of one frames may be another frames. Frames are also useful for re representing common sense knowledge, while semantic needs are basically a two-dimensional di representation of knowledge. Frames add a third dimension by allowing nodes to have structured motoi frames. So this is the example of frames this is the slots this is the filter or fillers so atong basahon ang exact statement statement of peter as peter is the engineering 
engineering and profession. Ang isang edad is the 25. He lives in city of London and the country is England. So, this is the following of is the frame representation. Ang slot is the name, profession, age, marital status, weight. Ang filter of fillers is the Peter, the name. Ang profession is doctor. Age is 25. Marital status is single. And the weight is 75. Mga na example of frame. Kano yung frame? So, ang frame, ang frame is na po si Jai advantage and disadvantages. So, ang advantage of the frame is the frame knowledge representation makes the program easier by grouping the related data. The frame's representation is comparably flexible and used by many applications in AI. It is very easy to add slot for new attributes and addition. Lastly, the advantage of the frame is it easy to include default data and to search for missing values. So, ang um, so matuna po tas disadvantage of the frame. First is the frame system inference mechanism is not be easily processed. Second is inference mechanism cannot be smoothly proce proce proceeded by frame representation. Lastly, the disadvantages of the frame is frame representation has much generalized approach. So next is the script. This is the last of the script. And script is a remembered or remembered precedent consisting of tightly coupled expectation suggesting primitive action and state changing frame. So, ang frame ni Ja is also structured more represent si ja, representation describing a sequence of events a particular context. Ang scripts also is ex extended frame by expectation of action and state changing. Change, change. That's all. Thank you for watching and keep safe. God bless everyone.